Uh, I just want to take you to Bordeaux. Um, obviously, when you look at the Eurodeck map, um, you'll see that there was a rather large emission uh, from the Bordeaux part of France, uh, sort of south of France. So if I just zoom in a little bit, you uh, should be able to see there's a nasty little reactor there. Um, so that's just another reactor that's been letting out. It's quite an old one, I think, but uh, uh, just by the Pyrenees there. And uh, just to get it in context, so we have La Hague up here, which is uh, spewing, got Penley. Uh, we have that one. So, you know, um, I, I, I still can't access the Creerad. I, I was able to access the Creerad PDFs for a while, there, but it stopped again. So I don't know if that's some sort of uh, uh, glitch that only happens from people from England or <laughs> just for me. Um, I just want to also mention at the moment there's a radiological issue going on in London. Uh, we're getting some seriously high values in London, and especially in London as opposed to slightly outside of London. Uh, in London, I, it, well, I, I have posted, and uh, I posted on the last uh, Geiger counter reading and, uh, as well, and uh, the information's there. So uh, it's it's really horrible. The winds at the moment are coming from Sellafield. They're coming this way. Um, so this morning I got an incredibly high hit. It seems to be easing off now, but we're still getting raises in my house, say, of up to 0.18 and that's on the outskirts of London. Uh, so if I was in London now, I'd be sort of getting rises of uh, what I was this morning, 0.23 and that sort of thing. Uh, got a 0.64 spike outside, went into a hospital, the levels dropped in there, but I got spikes in the hospital, which is probably uh, particles that were getting past the filtration system. Um, the highest spike in the hospital was 0.54. Um, so uh, the highest uh, spike I will say also out in uh, sort of the outskirts of London where I live uh, I got a 0.5, well I got a couple of 0.5 microsievert spikes uh, one after the other um, but uh, so that there is a, a sort of a, a difference uh, in geographically uh, going into hospitals is useful because obviously it's uh, heavily HEPA filtered, HEPA filtered so uh, but I will say that inside the hospital it was 0.13 0.14 sort of microsievert average. Outside it was probably more 0.20 microsieverts average. Um, so uh, there was some uh, drop, uh, but it was un, uh, you know it's the first time I've been in a hospital where I've managed to get that sort of uh, sort of high level. And the spikes there were were something else as well. And people were breathing this in, and it was being thrown around on the. Uh, 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 the uh, ventilation systems okay so that's that um, I want to bring you to that I was gonna just uh, very quickly I think just show you the North Atlantic surf you can see over here if I just zoom in for you and we've got the UK and if you look down the right hand side of the UK you see that the winds at the moment are coming from the north they're coming from the Arctic um, and basically they are then coming in here and if I just quickly grab pointing straight to London basically there's the arrows you know uh, all the arrows from this side and that side so it could be any reactor but you know let's say Sellafield there is they were having some problems they found some uh, sludge basically and it looks like um, looks like they're burning the sludge in a furnace at the moment so anyway that's um, yeah so here we are uh, we've basically got the winds coming straight down to London. They're coming in off the coast here, so and they're coming from here. So we have Sullerfield, and uh, London is here, so we're getting hit. And uh, and obviously where the bowl of London is, the contamination is staying more. Uh, it's it's the, uh, the the fallout that's being caught in London in the big buildings and the low bowl part of London you know uh, so w w if you go to the north of London the south of London there's big uh, sort of hills and uh, between those two the, the the fallout seems to trap as you go out to West London you get more clearer flatter areas and you're, you're higher up so basically you get uh, better clearing of the air 
which is what's happening here um, and that's why we're getting the difference in uh, readings I believe Just sort of a month basically uh, Europe is uh, is a wash uh, with reactor incidents uh, with stoppages and uh, releases and night releases and uh, Hungary is uh, is awful uh, there is uh, you know Kreerad haven't written anything up recently about Hungary but we have uh, incidents this month and uh, I would think that they are probably uh, testing and trying to find out what's going on uh, the director in the uh, Hungary Institute, um, he basically said that there's uh, probably less, you know, he's saying that there's a lesser amount that's been coming out of there this year, um, and Kreerad are disputing that based on their evidence of land contamination around Budapest uh, with uh, some serious isotopes that will leave the land badly contaminated for uh, at least another year or two years, really, because it still hasn't stopped. Um, and we've been possibly reading that across Europe, uh, certainly in Germany they've been reading it, although the EURDEP and ODL maps are saying, oh no, there's nothing going on, uh, Czechoslovakia, uh, Hungary, all the monitors, uh, Austria, all the monitors are showing signs of contamination, except for when you get to Germany. Uh, but German monitor posters, people that have Geiger counters have been posting up and saying that they've been getting high peaks and, and drops as well. This, it's not too bad in Germany, but the, the monitoring system is missing these, uh, these surges and peaks uh, that are occurring as small clouds are probably wafting across Germany. Um, uh, however, there is somebody who's doing some, uh, some work on that. Um, but uh, anyway, we, we'll, we'll basically uh, leave it at that now. I'm going to do a Eurodep uh, uh, search over. We're going to look at some of the very high peaks around Europe. Uh, the, you know, uh, Greece had a, uh, 140 micro, well, 1,400 uh, basically nano sieverts per hour. Right, they had a short peak, it was fortunately, maybe up to an hour or so. Uh, but uh, I believe that came from Hungary uh, because the winds do come down that coastline and there are very few monitors uh, on that coastline compared to the rest of Europe um, so uh, basically that's that and it does come down the coastline so there's no monitors in the sea uh, in the Mediterranean sort of area so um, that is that and I will uh, I will get hi guys uh, at the moment it is currently in London it is 11.26 and the radiation levels have dropped from last night um, I've posted up on any news uh, which I will link to um, some of the findings that I've been uh, getting as I've been going along in the last few days um, I haven't done a post on the videos um, because I'm, I'm, I'm uh, coming up with some ideas and having a bit of time out to think so I'm um, sorry for any of you new subscribers there um, I will uh, start posting up videos uh, in the next week or so um, but I'm going to put this one up for now and uh, it's basically just to bring you to uh, well, we were looking at Christopher Busby who went to Hinkley and did some soil samples and what have you uh, and in the Guardian I'll just roll that down there and the Guardian environment section uh, we have a little uh, note here which says that Hinkley nuclear power station delays deals blow to government hopes and it's basically saying, I'll just get to the first bit here, uh, the earthworks uh, that they were starting, uh, that all the protesters were uh, 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 protesting against, uh, have come to uh, a sort of a delay point. Um, so half the six energy forms have already abandoned nuclear plans as too costly, and uh, the other half uh, basically are... Um, you know, EDF, uh, who owns 83%, obviously, of the site, it says here. Um, now, they are really for doing it, but uh, obviously, uh, there's some anti nuclear sentiment, sentiment in France as well. So, anyway, I'll leave a link to the whole article. I'm, I'm obviously not going to uh, go through it because of copyright reasons, but you can uh, read the whole thing yourself. Um, uh, thank you very much, Guardian, for covering this story. A uh, very nice picture there of the anti-nuclear protesters at Hinckley, uh, who we were all rooting for. Well done, guys. Um, it kind of worked. So, there you go. People power. Um, and there wasn't that many people, so, you know, if we could get more people on the streets supporting these guys, wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't they do something? And the anti-nuclear crowd have got a very uh, good time 
to be able to sort of shut these down with all the all the news that's out there. Um, all right, that's uh, all I'll say on. All right, just taking news to Czech Republic. Uh, I'm going to take news to Karlovy Vary uh, monitor, and if I bring it down, you can see that uh, basically we've got a month there, and sometime uh, around about the 20th, the 19th, there was a spike. And we've had a couple of little spikes, but generally you can see there's a high reading there. Uh, I just wanted to mention that because the German ones are, are much lower. Uh, I'm just bringing you to uh, Gorgi Lenart, Slovenia. Um, I'm just going to bring you here quickly, and I was going to show you that uh, on around about the 10th, the 11th of May, uh, we got a spike, and the spike went to uh, about 0.4 microsieverts. Let me see if you can see it there. About 0.4 microsieverts, just uh, around about there. And uh, the whole thing went on for a few hours. And when it returned up to now, anyway, it's at a higher level, near the higher 120 as opposed to the 70 nanosieverts per hour it is at the moment. So I'll just take you. Obviously, there's been a bit of a switch off. So I just want to take you to Sick Loss Hungary. And uh, I want to just show you what's been happening there. there monitor's been switched off and it went up to 0.49 microsieverts uh, and then it came back down and now it's uh, puttering along around about uh, around about 10 or 11 uh, 0.10 or 0.12 microsieverts per hour but uh, from the 9th so I just thought I'd bring you to that I'm taking you to Vesprem in Hungary and uh, just a bit earlier on there, in the uh, on the around about April the 21st, you can see there was these big spikes. Just to say that Hungary is not all quiet, uh, but uh, we didn't get anything recently. Uh, Budakezi, Hungary. Um, just take you back to the switch off, uh, which was uh, around the 19th of April, 20th, somewhere around there. Uh, we had another switch off on around about the 4th or 5th, and it's sort of kind of been bubbling. Uh, and just recently we've got a little peak there don't know what that's supposed to represent but um, that's uh, Budakezi Hungary uh, we've got Budjak Hungary and I uh, just wanted to show you a 0.64 spike there and uh, there was a switch off there as well around about the 4th and uh, a possible switch off there. actually I'm going to zoom in just to see let's get a week on that yeah, we've got another switch off on the 13th as well uh, for a number of hours. There may be two switch offs actually. Uh, I'll just zoom in so you can see them clearly. Uh, all the way through into the 13th, basic Bujak Hungary. Switch off. I was looking around France and uh, we have these switch offs here, that was the 16th, 17th, 18th, that was one switch off where we had a problem in Europe and um, there might well be a problem uh, somewhere around La Hague or Penley as we speak. Taking you to Odiham in the United Kingdom uh, now this one's got a spike as well and the first spike is around about the 19th of April again uh, and we've got that in the UK and it uh, go registered 0.18 microsieverts there which is very unusual for an English uh, monitor although this one does tend to be a bit more honest uh, and we've got a 0.24 spike around about the um, 31st 1st of uh, May and uh, <coughs> a nice straight line now uh, which I'm not too believing of but uh, we certainly picked up the two spikes now. I don't, uh, the, the one on the 1st I think that was, uh, that was sort of northern France and taking you up to the north of France again, north north uh, coast of France, and we've got a uh, switch off between the 16th and 21st, and then from the 28th all the way through. Uh, just taking you to Turkey, and uh, we're getting just under 200, but uh, there is a switch off once again, April 21st, 22nd. Uh, we've got another one, which is on May the 6th. Um, so that's uh, that's interesting.
Um, got another one in uh, Turkey again. Uh, these are all running across the south uh, of Turkey, heading east. Uh, we're getting 200 on this one.